they don't pay us, uh, but we don't pay the, the private companies. But did you react about the murder of the journalist, the investigation? Uh, the use of live ammunition by security forces. Um, was used, um, excessive force was used. Uh, we don't have verification of the exact number of people who were killed or injured, um, but there are doctors associations that are putting numbers out there, like you know, more than 60 people um, were treated in hospitals uh, for gunshot wounds. Um, this is not the way to react to the expression of economic grievances um, by the population. We, we perfectly know that. The problem is, is very difficult. Okay. Uh, would you like to consider perhaps a final press conference on There are credible reports of a number of deaths, including of a police officer, and many more injured, as well as hundreds of arrests in relation to the protests. There are also worrying allegations of generalized intimidation and harassment by security forces carrying out door-to-door -door searches. <laughs> The Zimbabwe Human Rights Commission has also received allegations of police beatings. According to official figures presented by the Minister of National Security, more than 600 people have been arrested countrywide. Of January, of course, the United States are always, uh, they, they must they own a house and they can from their parents in the USA since uh, 2017. Are you following? Yeah, we have seen those as well. We understand that there have been um, uh, WhatsApp and Facebook, access to WhatsApp and Facebook was also blocked at some point. Um, internet access was shut down, then it apparently resumed, um, and now there are reports that it's being shut down again. Um, uh, the, the, the government has been saying that this is to um, deal with uh, misinformation um, that is spreading uh, on social media. Um, but we are concerned because this is also impairing the ability of people to communicate with each other. Yesterday, the, the New York Times uh, published 